Hello, and welcome to the Howard Wright Know Your Money podcast. I'm Ashley Smith. And I'm Tom Richards. On the Know Your Money podcast, we talk everything finance, from financial planning tips to how what's going on in the world around you affects the money in your wallet, and most importantly, your financial future. If this podcast helps you, please like and subscribe so we can help as many people as possible moving forwards. In today's episode, we're going to be discussing, is it time to get a financial advisor? Making big decisions on your own can be hugely daunting. With so much choice, information, economic uncertainty and technical jargon to get your head round, where do you even start? With so much riding on making the right choices, you don't want to make poor decisions to haunt you further on down the line. And you can see why the pressure to get things right can be so overwhelming. So, Ash, can you explain to our listeners how you as a Chartered Financial Advisor help your clients move forward with confidence? Of course. So speaking to a Chartered Financial Advisor like ourselves at Howard Wright is always a great place to start. You'll be able, they will be able to help you quantify your objectives and build a personalised plan to set you on the path to achieving those objectives. Once your financial plan is in place, this should be reviewed on a regular basis. Your circumstances will change over time. Life brings with it many twists and turns, and you could, for instance, buy a property, move into a new house, a larger house, a smaller house, get married, have children, get promoted at work, lose your job. Lots of different things could happen, uh, which mean that the financial plan you originally set up is no longer fit for purpose. Each and every change will ultimately affect your money today, but it could also affect your money and your ability to provide your money in the future as well. You therefore need to respond to these changes by making sure your money is still working as hard as possible for you and revising your financial strategy wherever necessary so that it's still focused on those long-term goals. Bear in mind those long-term goals could also change as well. You may have set your retirement plan to retire at at 60, but actually you may want to move that to 55 or you really enjoy what you're doing and you want to move that to 65. Reviewing that financial plan on a regular basis will allow you to to stay focused on your your true goals and adjust the plan as required. Doing this yourself, um, certainly in times of great change and disruption, can be very difficult. Certainly if it's a change for the negative, where you already have high stress levels, trying to then focus on your financial plan by yourself can add to those stress levels. So continuing to work with a financial advisor can really help relieve some of that stress and, and Bring that confidence back that you know you're doing the right thing for your for your finances. A professional regulated financial advisor will be at your side every step of the way. They'll help you take informed decisions, they'll help you take objective decisions, and they'll take holistic looks at your finances. So they're not just focusing on the one event that's happened in the here and now. They look at how that impacts the whole bigger picture of, of everything, not just the long term, but also the short and medium term financial goals as well. That's absolutely fantastic. Thank you, Ash. Could you explain to our listeners now how you as an advisor uh, give your clients peace of mind? Yeah, so there was a recent study by Royal London where 62% of couples who admit to arguing with their partner have disagreements about money. So money can cause huge stress, stresses and mental pressures. Can you always be sure that if you're doing this by yourself, you're making the right financial decisions? Whilst an advisor isn't likely to be a good marriage counsellor, they can give you peace of mind that you're taking the right steps and making the right informed decisions that are appropriate for you and your finances today, but also you and your finances in the future. That's brilliant. Thank you. We've got a question now that's very relevant in today's economic climate. How do you as an advisor manage changing economic conditions? Yeah, so nobody's finances operate in isolation. They'll always be affected by the outside economic factors, as you've said. So as time passes, you'll eventually find yourself dealing with things that you've possibly never had to deal with before. Uh, Even though you may have have had some experience with your your sort of pensions, your investments uh, and self-management, certainly if it's a big change that you're going through and there's economic pressures as well, is that something that you want to take on uh, as well as everything else that you've got going on in your life? Many young adults today will never have seen the level of inflation that we've currently got. They will never have seen interest rates as high as they are today. They possibly wouldn't have seen taxation rates or mortgage rates as high as they are either. Some of our older clients do often quote that they remember interest rates being significantly higher than they are today, but they're in a completely different stage of their life today compared to where they were last time interest rates were were, the, were sort of 15, 16, 17%. So, 
people then therefore don't necessarily always know what the best steps would be to take not just in that environment but in that environment for them and their position today obviously therefore having a financial advisor who has the knowledge the experience um, and sort of the expertise that can guide you through any volatile climates keeping your aims and objectives in mind every step of the way we spoke about it before um, with sort of the, when we were looking at behavioral mm. investing but ultimately the financial advisor is one step away they can take informed and objective decisions and help you reach decisions that aren't emotionally charged fantastic thank you could you now explain to our listeners why now is the best time to engage with a financial advisor like yourself of course so now is always the best time whether we're having this conversation today in, in six months in a year in two years if you haven't spoken to a financial advisor before now is always the best time to do so Putting off having that conversation could potentially lead to you missing out on huge sums of money in terms of growth through, through compounding. Um, so the sooner you can start that process, the better. Even small amounts put into savings accounts or pensions or investments today can ultimately blossom into much larger sums in the future. And that will then help you enjoy your lifestyle in later life or just provide an extra fund for you should any any emergencies or any reason uh, uh, come up that you need that capital fantastic thank you now i'm sure there'll be many listeners right now thinking i need to speak to ashley i need to speak to howard right how can they get in contact easiest way as always is to go to our website www.howardright.co.uk and complete our inquiry form or alternatively you can give us a call on 0345 688 4939 Thank you very much for listening to the Herod Wright Know Your Money podcast. I've been Ashley Smith. And I've been Tom Richards. If you're listening to this on YouTube, please like and subscribe and share on your socials. And if you're listening to us on Apple Music or Spotify, please drop us a follow and leave us a review. It really helps other people find the podcast, enabling them to know their money better and build stronger financial futures. Please also check out the Herod Wright link tree for loads more tips, tricks, articles, videos and podcasts just like this one. And most importantly, stay tuned for future episodes. This recording contains information from sources believed to be reliable, but no guarantee, warranty or representation expressed or implied is given to its accuracy. Howard Wright does not undertake any obligation to update or revise any future statements. Past performance is not a reliable indicator of future results. Investments can go down as well as up, and actual results could differ materially from those anticipated. This recording is for the information purposes only and has no regard to the specific investment objectives or financial situation of any individual. The information contained in this recording is not intended to constitute and should not be construed as investment or financial advice. Appropriate personalised advice should always be taken before entering into any transactions. No responsibility can be accepted for any loss arising from action taken or refrain from being taken based on this publication. Howard Wright is authorised and regulated by the Financial Conduct Authority.